hello guys how you are doing today i'm going to be teaching you how to squat and sew a kimono jacka i'm making a kimono jacka as you can see i've already drawn out some line so i'm going to be explaining it so that you will understand i'm using a length of 40 uh, 35 35 inches then i will add two inches for us to do the folding at the other then if you are going to cut out your your material the hip measurement to cut out the material then you will divide the hip measurement by four whatever you get you will add like two inches for the allowance then you cut out the material then right now you see the line that i've drawn the this is the measurement I'm going to be using for the material today. Then the shoulder, shoulder measurement, shoulder measurement is 17. I divided it by two. Then it gave me 8.5. That is what I put here. That is the shoulder measurement. Then this is the bust measurement. You have to measure from your shoulder to your bust. Then you put it down from your bust to your waist, then from your waist to your hip, from the hip to the full length you have. Then the bust measurements, I've not got there, but let's go for the handball. The handball measurement is 20, then you divide it by 2. Divide it by 2, it gave you 10. That is where my handball ends here. Then you have to cut. You come down by one inch. You can see you come down by one inch. You direct it to the to the neck. And this neck, I'm using four inch, uh, three inches width and one inches depth because it's at the back. I'm cutting the bottom before I will cut cut at the front. Then the back. This is the back one inch. Then you bring come down by one inch and connect it to the neck. So that is how. We have come to this place right now we are going to be inputting all the measurements okay the bus measurement you will divide it by bus measurement divide by four you will divide your bus measurement by four whatever you get you will put it there mine is 38 then i divided it by four it gave me 9.5 okay 9.5 Then my two inches allowance. Okay. Then you go to the waist. My waist measurement is 38. It goes the same with the boss. It's the same thing. So my waist measurement is 38. Divided by 4, it gave me the same 9.5. 9.5. Then... Two inches sewing allowance. Then you go to the hip. My hip measurement is 45. Then divided it by four, it gave me 11.25. Okay, 11.25. Okay. Then with my two inches sewing allowance. Okay, right now we are going to connect all. Then right now you take it from here, direct down. But before I do that, I have to bring, I want to take half inch inward so that I can straighten it. Hope you can see it. So this is my half inch. Then from this place, I'll connect it down. Right now, we'll go for the ample. Ample. Then, you find the midpoint of this ample. Okay. 
have nine inches. Then if you want to see, you know, know your the midpoint, you just take it like this and put it like this. And press it like this. Then this is your angle. 4.5. 4.5. This is your armhole. Then you connect to meet this place. Now we've connected all our Now we are going to cut out the front because we've already cut out the back. Now we are going to cut out the front. So I placed the back one to cut out the front. So I added three inches for us to be able to achieve our lapel. So this is the three inches. <clears throat> so now we are going to transform the lines that you are seeing here. We are going to transfer it to the back. Now we are going to be cutting out the front neckline and uh, to cut that front neck I'm going to be using one and a half inch one and a half inch then I will extend that one and a half inch to the neckline of the back the the front one so I will connect it like this. I believe you can see it. They are connecting it now.
it depends on where you want your lapel to stop some will prefer below the bust line some will prefer at the waist point but me i prefer the waist point now i'm going to be using half inch i'll put half inch there then that half inch will enable me to connect to the neckline and also connect to the end of the material then you connect together Now we are going to be placing our dart. To get your dart, you use your nipple to nipple measurement, divide by 2. Mine is 8, divide by 2 is 4. I will be placing it at the hip, at the waist and also at the boss. Then after you have done with that, you will connect it together like a straight line. Then you go down by one inch then you go up at the waist point at the hip point you go up by two inches then at the middle that is at the waist you are going to be using one inch at the both side that is half inch half inch that making it one that makes it one. Then you connect it to the up and also to the down, down part. And also you are going to be transferring the dart to all the materials, both the lining.
now it is time to cut out the lining to do that you place your fabric that you have already shaped out you place it on top of this lining you, you make sure it aligns well then you use the shape to cut out the, the lining Now, as you can see, I've placed the fabric on top of the lining. Then I made two inches. I folded two inches for it to be longer than the uh, than the lining, so that in case we are going to turn it out, this material will be showing, not the lining. Then exactly like this, then you have to cut.
this is the lining for the front but i will be using the fabric to cut out the facing because i do not want this uh, lining to show after you have so sewn it and torn it out so i don't want it so for you to do that you take like two to three inches depends on how you want it mine i will be using uh three inches to do my facing then after you put the three inches you have to draw it down to the hem of the uh, lining then you cut Now you will place the lining on top of the fabric. You can see the way I've done it to cut out the facing. Now we have finished cutting all the materials, we will come back again for the sewing. Please subscribe and like my video and also press the notification button. This is just the part one of this and 
will continue again for the next one. Thank you and God bless you.